Happy New Year everyone! Welcome back to another virtual Sunday School service. Today, we will be learning about how to be obedient. Let's read the summary. Being obedient. Caleb was an Israelite of the tribe of Judah. He, Joshua, and ten other men slipped into the promised land to spy out the land. It was wonderful land with good crops. They also saw powerful people and walled cities. When the spies reported back to Moses, they told all they had seen. They showed some of the food they had found. Ten of the spies said, We can't take this land. They told stories about how big the people were and how hard it would be to defeat them because they had built walls around their cities. The people listening to the ten spies were scared. Caleb and Joshua did not agree with the ten spies. Caleb said, We should go up and take this land. God promised this land to us and he will help us. The people did not listen to Caleb and Joshua. They were afraid and refused to obey God by trying to take the land. God did not force the people to obey him, but they lost the privilege of going into the promised land. But Moses told Caleb that the land he had explored would one day be his because he obeyed the Lord with his whole heart. Forty-five years later, Caleb was 85 years old. He was still in good health. He was as strong and energetic as he had been when he was 40. He was given the land he had explored because he had continued to obey God with his whole heart. Are you done reading the summary? Caleb received good results or benefits because he obeyed God. So obey God if you love him. Let's move on to activities. Let's start on the first activity for this week. Want God's best? Check how you plan to experience God's best this week by obeying God at home, school, and church. Which one of these statements will you do this week to show that you obey God? Put a check mark next to it. Here's the second activity for this week, survivors. Go through the maze below to discover an important message of how we can show God we love him. Avoid sharks and rocks. Collect the undamaged life preservers on your way to the finish. When you reach a letter, write it on the next line in the sentence. Start from here and get to here. Avoid the sharks and the rocks. Then write these letters over here. What does it say? Here's the last activity for this week. Room hide. Your parents probably want you to keep your room clean. Find the letters hidden in this clean room. Unscramble them to fill in three missing words in the sentence below. Hint. Each word is a different color. Find letters in this picture here. I found the letter W. What letter can you find? Fill them in here. And that's it for this week, guys. Don't forget to remember your memory verse. If you love me, you will obey what I command. John 14, 15. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.